Welcome back to Thrifting with Retro Azul. Try, try. One, two, one, two. Oh, I'm on. Welcome back to Thrifting with Retro Azul. This is your first Retro Azul. And today, I don't know who was in charge of this studio, but this chair is too small. I am like 190, my knees are hurting, and someone today is getting fired. So today in our show, from a drifter like me that drifted for life, since I was 15 years old with his dad, that is the absolute truth boss, today is going to be very essential for all of y'all that wants to drift, that wants to go to charity shops, second hand shops, vintage shops or thrift stores to get some good gems, some good thrifted and vintage clothing and today I'm going to give you all some tips on how to thrift like a pro. So the first tip is the most important tip of all guys, just put it in your mind when you're going thrifting in the thrift stores, landmark, the charity shops, like this is the most important thing guys. You have to be patient, like very very patient. Let's see this gentleman at the thrift store in action. As you can see he's searching for some clothing and you're already tired. You came here 5 minutes ago. Get out of my face, please. Patience is key, like my grandma always tells me. And you have to be very patient. You have to, like, you have to go thrifting like it's an adventure. So every time you go to the thrift, like, treat it like it's an adventure or a quest to find that treasure, that gem that you will rock for the rest of, I hope for many years. But like the Dewey Rock in so many feats, like you have to take it like a quest, like an adventure and not all the time you will find the things that you like, sometimes you will come home with nada, like nada. You have to hope that on the next trip, trip you will find something good and will go by very fast, like you will spend even one hour or two hours at the thrift store, like I experienced it. <laughs> So you have to search and search and search. So my second tip for y'all guys is to not search for a specific item like the ones that maybe you pin on your Pinterest or you search on Instagram or maybe you saw it on YouTube videos or you saw it from a TikTok. Like you can't expect to go to the thrift store and find that specific item. So you have to be more like open-minded and find an item that is similar to what you have found maybe and like the same pattern, the same color, the same cut, the same aesthetic. And also don't be afraid to go out from your comfort zone if you find an item that you really like but is out from your style or aesthetic because I think it's really cool to experiment and at the thrift store you can find so many items from so many different styles that you can really experiment and find what you really like and you can incorporate it in your style however you like. My third tip is less about brands and trends and more about quality. What does that mean? That means that, for example, I know that it's really cool to rock out the fact that, oh, I found that guest jacket or that Armani blazer, or maybe I found this Le Levis like 502, 501, or I found like, I don't know, Dolce & Gabbana, but it's not all about the brands because there are a lot of vintage brands from different companies like even small brands that really make good quality clothing and that they really add like some cool items like most of my wardrobe is not like high fashion most of my wardrobe is from brands that maybe some of those brands were are dead or some of the brands are smaller and i really like it because there are items that you can't find really easily and also I think that fashion in general is not all about the brands but it's more about the quality of the clothing and how you style it and what like flavor you put in your fit so 
for me it's not really about the brands so you don't have to be really focused on the brands but more about what you really like and on the quality of the clothing so my next tip is not get overwhelmed by the amount of clothes that are in the thrift store you have to scan each section and my other tip is also if you are searching in the men's sections to also search in the women's section and vice versa because i think also going out from the comfort zone and also because there are some items that maybe are in the women's section that are good for you and vice versa i know it will take a bit of time but you have to search each clothing see the size see if it's in good conditions see if you like it the color etc it will take a bit of time and a bit of practice but I think the first time it will be a bit overwhelming because the clothes are a lot. A tip that works for me, for example, when I go to a thrift, I will put like my headphones and be like searching and I will not be minding about other people around me so that I can be focused and search for what I have to search without any distraction. Of course, without dancing in the middle of the store. <laughs> tip is to see if the clothing has some stains or holes in case that you really want that item you can maybe get a discount just ask at the cashier or the seller if you can get a little discount because if there are like holes or maybe some stains maybe you can get the price a little bit reduced so my next tip if you don't know where to start internet is your best friend if you want to check out if there are some thrift stores in your area or your city and when the flower markets are done, like usually here in Germany where I live in Kiel, like the flower markets are every Sunday and like the flower markets are in different locations in the city. For example, like this Sunday, there's one in Medenhof and I think another one in Prince Willy that is a pub or a bar here in Kiel. And you can search on the internet if there are thrift stores in your area or your city and the flower markets where are going like, usually they are weekly so you can find on the internet if there are these flower markets or where are the thrift stores specifically and if there aren't like thrift stores or the flower markets are a little bit far from where you live you can always search on the internet like on depop vintage or etsy or thread up for some vintage pieces and vintage thrifted pieces and on the internet there's less time involved as uh, for the thrifting side so you can search for that specific item more easily so my next tip is to get inspired guys i think this is one of the most important steps of the process of thrifting because if you want to search for a specific style or aesthetic that you're aiming to then you have to get inspired like from pinterest or instagram or youtube or you can search for some movies and like tv series magazines and you can find a lot of different styles, different aesthetics where you can get inspired but to know which items you want to get at the thrift store uh, each time you have to ask yourself will this be like an item or a piece of clothing that I will wear frequently so my next tip is if you are unsure of your budget then I think the best idea is to do like a general tour of the thrift stores in your area or your city so that you can know which thrift stores are the best depending on your budget and on the selection of clothing and so that you can come back and like prepare a budget for what you really want so have a general idea of what the thrift stores look like in your area or your city and also in the flower market you can do the same and yeah this is what i did when i came here in kiel in september because coming from italy i knew that probably the prices would be different and the selection of clothing would be different so at first i didn't buy anything i just searched the thrift stores in the area and the city how they were and the prices and then after like i think the first three of three weeks after three weeks i started thrifting here in the city so my next tip is to be prepared for failure and thrift the thrifting as an adventure and this is what i already told you i think on the first tip so be prepared for failure don't get upset maybe the first or the second time didn't get nothing that you really like nothing of your size or maybe nothing of your style or aesthetic like you have to try this and like thrift store they usually like get new clothing each week so like if you go there like for example if you went there the past week 
maybe go there after like two weeks or three weeks and see if the clothing has changed there are new items because usually they change it weekly and also try to go to as many as different thrift stores as possible in your area your city or you can go also to another city and try also there and yeah this is what i would suggest and don't get upset don't give up the gem that you want is waiting for you guys it's waiting there for you so this is my last tip i probably have other tips but i can't get them out of my mind right now but if you have any other tips just comment below so this is my next tip guys this is very important i think it's like even more important of the first tip that i told you so this tip is if you see an item that you really like just get it and put it in your cart don't leave it there saying okay i will come back later like in a minute it will be there no guys because people are searching and they have the same uh, goal as you to search for the best item and to search for the item that they really like so maybe like you go away from one minute and that item is gone because another client took it and that's fair <laughs> and unfair i don't know you guys but you have to be really on the hunt when you go to 15 like it's not a battle but it's a hunt for the best item so if you see something that you're not sure of just put it in the cart and later try it and see it and then if you don't like it you can just put it back in the section but don't leave it there because someone will be ready to snatch your item like a pro i know that probably there are other tips but let me know in the comments and yeah i hope this guide it will be useful for y'all for who wants to go to the trip or who wants to try it also for the first time and this is your host Petra Zoo, and this is the end of the show so i will see you on the next episode or video <laughs> let's say on the next video so if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i put my next video and i will see you very very soon guys bye like a pro